we're going to check the yeast temperature now and the must temperature. They have to be less than 10. We prefer 7 to 8 degrees difference. And right now we've got this one here. It's about 25.4 degrees Celsius. And we'll check the yeast temperature. We're showing 30 and climbing. We'll give it a moment. So we're getting really close. It's slowing down the temperature rise. So we're at a, just up around the eight degree mark. So what we'll do to help it out a little better is we're going to take about 100 and 150 mils of uh, wine from a, with a sanitized container. And he'll add it into the uh, yeast. And this will help a temper it. It'll help it get uh, a little closer so they don't get shocked. If yeast get shocked, they don't like that. Okay, now we're just checking the temperature again. So we're just under eight degrees now and dropping 20, 32.7.6. So this one here would be good, it's below eight degrees, which is what we like. So what we'll do now is we'll get Colin to uh, pour it in. He'll just sort of swish it all around. And then we'll stir it in in a few minutes. There we go. A little bit of yeast left on the bottom there. Swish it around. Because anything that goes into that tub here has to be a sanitized container of some form. There we are. So now we got the first one done. Now we'll do the second. We'll check the temperature of the must. It's at 26 and climbing. And again, we'll check the temperature of the uh, yeast. The thermometer we have is a little Hanna digital thermometer. It's a really nice little unit. It was just under $100. Uh, well worth the money. It's fairly accurate. It's uh, I believe within point, uh, point 0.5 of a degree is its accuracy. It's right in that area there. So 33.4, so we're about seven and a half. What we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of wine in it. It'll be bringing it in a little bit closer, which is really good. And you can see we dropped it down a little, coming down now. So 33.1. So we're well under the 8 degree. So again, we'll get Colin to uh, pour it in. And you can take a sanitized container to get some wine so we can get the yeast off the bottom of the jug. Yeah, and that uh, mixture that we had, uh, it's yeast and a product called GoFarm. It will, it's a nutrient for the uh, yeast. So now we'll get Colin to uh, do a stir and stir it all around, get it all mixed in. Yeah, what Colin just did in winemaker terms is called pitching the yeast, pitching it into the tanks. So now we got that one stirred in pretty good. We'll get him to do the other one. Watch out for the containers on the ground. And in a day or two, uh, we should see the fermentation started, or start. And the time between now and then, we call the leg. That's where the yeast is multiplying and growing big and strong and lots of numbers of them. And then it'll start making alcohol during the start of fermentation.